A follow-up to a count on two consumer alert as last month we told you about the dangers of a chemical in paint strippers. A Charleston business owner died in October of 2017 after using a product he bought at Lowe's Home Improvement. Count on two consumer investigator Leva Holland joins us now to explain how that incident has added Lowe's to what's called the dirty dozen. Today, the National Council for Occupational Safety and Health, or COSH, announced its annual list of employers who put workers and communities at risk, known as the Dirty Dozen. So during a phone call today, I spoke with Brian Wynn, who's joining the group in pushing stores like Lowe's to stop selling the dangerous product that he says caused his brother's sudden death. Brian Wynn first told me the story of his brother Drew's death last month. He was working on the floors of his cold brew coffee business in North Charleston using the product Goof Off, which he bought at a local Lowe's store. The official cause of death was exposure to methylene chloride. The best guess is he was overcome by the fumes, and what tends to happen with methylene chloride is that the fumes accumulate and he died. I'm going to put you on speaker. During our conversation today, Brian reflected on how hard Drew was working to make his business succeed. The last time I saw Drew was late September. Uh, at that moment, he was smiling, he was happy, and he was very proud of where his life was heading. Everything changed in October. But after Drew's death, Brian got to work, meeting with lawmakers and nonprofit groups, pushing for the Environmental Protection Agency to ban the use of methylene chloride. The Dirty Dozen report explains there have been more than 50 deaths nationwide related to the chemical, naming Lowe's as a company still selling the products. When I contacted Lowe's about the issue last month, the spokesperson said the company is working to bring new alternatives to consumers and lead change in the industry. But Brian says that's not enough. Their response is unacceptable. The only response is to remove it from the shelves. There are many other retailers that sell products with the chemical. Akash executive director says that she hopes that Lowe's can be a leader in change. I've reached out to Lowe's for additional comment and a spokesperson just got back to me saying in part, quote, we continue to comply with all state and federal re regulations. Methylene chloride has historically been the most effective product option for removing paint and varnishes efficiently. We continue to offer consumer education on the proper use of these chemicals. To see the full statement and more about the Dirty Dozen, head to count